We start the fourth quarter. Welcome back live. The Metrodome in Minneapolis. The Gophers on top, 21 to 17. Bison's ball. Jeski wide to the left. Walker looks over that Golden Gopher defense. Flares it out. Alex Belquist hammered out of bounds at the 35, but another first down. How about the FCS? My goodness, is this young man just putting on an outstanding performance? Curtis Thomas hanging on, but needs to continue to defend. Pashaw. Inside the 10, first and goal for the Bison. Walker pulls it down. Fires in the end zone. Touchdown for Brown out of Fall Creek, Wisconsin. His first touchdown reception of the year. The sophomore, 6'4", 252. You can't get much more wide open. Walker laid the it in there perfectly. Watch Walker. He's out there all alone. The drag, the one catch. Of the greats for the Golden Gophers. Moonlighting over there in WCCO AM radio booth. They've been the voice of the Gophers forever. Dropped at the 48-yard line. Spry. They have to be consistent. Make plays when their numbers call. This might be gut check time for both teams. The Bison on defense, Gophers on offense, third and ten. Difference is a field goal. Blitz is on. Weber picks it up. Wheelwright goes up. Bison goes up. Intercepted North Dakota State. Wheelwright had it taken right away. Huge play. Might be the deal breaker. And this is major league. Major League play against a very out of Sugar Land, Texas. Let's see if Nate goes up and takes it away. Look at the height difference. Well, there's height difference. This is blanket coverage. It's man to man. This is saran wrap coverage. He's all over him. And then he just goes up and makes the play. I mean, he just takes it away from Wheelwright. That's 5 8 against 6 5. That's an unbelievable effort. Jump balls are all about timing. Excellent play and effort. Steve Walker looks over the middle. Got all day to run. First down, North Dakota State. In the last two games, and this one still got 11:15 left to go. A little flare. Turnovers and explosive plays, and the Bison have had both. First down and more. North Dakota State going for it on fourth and two. And why not? You've gained over 500 yards. What's another measly? Certainly bought into his vision. Third and eight over the middle. Tyler Roll. First and goal by Zajewski wide to the left. Wurzbacher out of Fargo in motion to the right. Wurzbacher out of bounds down at the two and a half. So had three field goals a year ago. You can't teach instincts. He knows where to be. He flies around and he's in a very instinctive linebacker. All the great ones possess that quality. Gophers need two to keep the ball. Bennett bang backwards will not get the first down. Jim, that was about as big a hit as you will see. Bennett got completely turned around upon impact. Watch it here. He's completely turned around facing the other direction. On second and five. First down North Dakota State University. Who he says is the most optimistic person in the world. Another first down for North Dakota State and almost broke it. Well, you can have optimism, but you have to also have a defense that can go out and just play hard-nosed football because they have been out-muscled all day long by the Bison. Walker moves the chain 25 when the ball is snapped. Walker yanks it down, finds his tight end, Wurzbacher. Penalty flag is down in the backfield, however. Minnesota knew coming into this game that they were playing a great football team that can beat you in a number of ways. Roughing the punter. 
And this one will be just about over because the Gophers are out of timeouts. You talk about mistakes, you talk about discipline, you talk about turnovers. Jim, my college coach used to tell me if you don't beat yourself, you only play against one team. And Minnesota today, they have played Personal against foul, two teams. Roughing the kicker, number 23 of the defense, 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. Didn't get any of the ball, did get the ankles. And that's just not the kind of mistake you expect or you see from Dominic Barber and his senior. Always leader. find a way to do it. Tyler Roll just bangs it forward near the 32. Gophers out of timeouts. Flexer last week against Northwestern, he wasn't supposed to play. He said, Coach, my teammates need me. Put me in. He scored a touchdown. Yeah, he's been a warrior for these guys all year long. Battled through some injuries. And really a joy to talk to. First down at the 15 yard line. 53 ticks left. Before Craig Bowl, the 49 year old head coach out of Lincoln, Nebraska, learned so much from Tom Osborne. Ask him his biggest influence. He said, Of course, Osborne was a major impact. He was my mentor. Taught me about caring for people and making the players feel needed and important. What he learned from Don Morton, his predecessor at North Dakota State, he said he was a great organizer, a CEO mind. Guess what? Mr. Morton is a senior vice president of Microsoft. And Fred Goldsmith at Rice and Duke, he said, from him I learned sound football fundamentals and how to be a little bit more demanding. Congratulations to the Bison and Craig Bowl. They come in here and they improve their record to 40 and 11 in Craig Bowl's fifth year. 11 victories in a row. Their last loss 364 days ago here in the Twin Cities. Well, I'll tell you what I learned. That this is a very talented football team offensively defensively special teams they are athletic to a man and what I've also learned is Minnesota's got to go back to the lab and they got to start with that defense they better go back to that tackling circuit because they will continue to be a porous defense from that standpoint listen to the bison faithful and they should be fired up these guys came in here, went toe to toe, and just took it to Minnesota on their home turf. Here's Marshall Harris. All right, coach, first ever win against a Big Ten team. How big is this win for your program? Well, we feel really good about it. Our players had a great deal of confidence coming in. I think we're a good football team, and uh, I'm really pleased on how our guys, how our guys played. We about got it done last year. We got it done this year. We had to make it a little bit harder, but uh, we're really proud of our players. What, what does this do for the confidence of this team, especially in a year where you can't go to the playoffs? Uh, we're striving for national recognition to be recognized as the top team in our division. Uh, it's another step forward. It's another game. We got to get ready to win this next week, uh, but uh, certainly it's a good win, and we're going to enjoy it. Talk about the play of Tyler Roll in this one. Well, Tyler's a dynamic player. He's unselfish. He was a fullback last year. Um, and he's actually, he's got more speed than what people think. And a lot of people doubted whether we should play him at tailback, and he's a good player. All right, thanks and congratulations, Coach Jim. So the Fargo Dome will be a buzz. A Great West showdown next week against Southern Utah. Huge game. Tyler Rolls. First time in the series that North Dakota State has beaten Minnesota, and this series goes back to 1898. Meanwhile, for Tim Brewster and the Gophers, Coach Brewster says, a little bit of me dies inside every time we lose. They will fall to one and seven and have to go to the big house and take on Michigan on the road next week. For Marshall Harris, Chris Martin, and our entire Big Ten Network crew, it's been a dandy. We'll say so long. The Bison over the Gophers by six.